Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit this beautiful, super warm and super easy hat. Believe me, even total beginner will do it. So here is the crown. The hat is knitted in diagonal and you will learn how to make increases and then how to make decreases. But trust me, it's really easy. The hat is super warm because it has a double brim. You can make it even triple if you want. So everything uh, depends on the square that you will need. For this hat I am using a pretty old vintage yarn. It has 100 meters and 50 grams and it says knit as an iron. But at the end yarn doesn't matter and the gauge doesn't matter. So you can use any yarn and any knitting needles. For this yarn I am using 3.5 millimeters knitting needles and also you will need a yarn needle or tapestry needle. For this hat you will need uh, 120 grams or 130 grams and here how the yarn is looking. A little bit fluffy and I forgot to tell you about the yarn. It is 50% acrylic and 10% mohair and wool, 10% wool. Really warm hat not only because of the yarn but also because it has double brim. So if you're ready let's do it together. Using 4 mm knitting needles cast on 4 stitches. Two, three, four. Turn and right away from this row we are going to start making increases. So slip the first stitch and now make one right. For this you pick up the bar a little bit hard but it's only first row. Pick up the bar with left hand needle from back to front and then knit this bar through the front loop. A little bit tight, yes, at the beginning and also I'm using wooden needles. Now knit two and purl the last selvage stitch. We are going to always purl it. So we will make increase at the beginning of each row. Turn, slip the first stitch and again make one right for this with a tip of left hand needle but I help myself with the right hand needle pick up the bar from back to front and now purl this bar through the front loop like you usually purl. This round we are going to purl all stitches, purl all other stitches in my case it's purl 3 and purl the last salvage stitch. Turn. Row number 3. Slip the first stitch. Make one right again. Pick up the bar from back to front. With the left hand needle, yeah, and purl this bar again through the front loop. I just purl it, then purl four, and purl the last salvage stitch. Turn 
end row number 4. After the row number 4, we will start repeating. So slip the first stitch, make one right again. And now knit the bar through the front loop. After that, knit all stitches till the end and pull the last salvage stitch. Now in this row, knit 5 and pull the last stitch. That's it. From this point, we are going to repeat the pattern, making increases after the first stitch, always. So I do suggest to place a stitch marker on the right side. So this is this will be your right side. So you understand that on the right side you need row one and row three. Slip the first stitch, make one right, pick up the bar from back to front, and knit this bar through the front loop. After that, knit all other stitches. And pull the last one. Turn and let's repeat row number two. Slip the first stitch, make one right, and now pearl the bar. And pearl all other stitches. Turn and let's repeat row number three. Skip the first stitch, make one right, and again pearl the bar and pearl all other stitches. Turn and repeat row number four. Slip the first stitch, pick up the bar from back to front with the left hand needle and knit the bar through the front loop. Okay. And knit all other stitches till the end. And pearl the last stitch. So that's how it works. Now we are going to start repeating again from the beginning, from the row number one. So you see we have two pearls rows, two knit rows, two purl rows, two, two knit rows. So let's start. Slip the first stitch. You see the stitch marker, then it's a right side. Slip the first stitch, make one right, pick up the bar and knit this bar through the front loop. Then knit all other stitches till the end.
and draw the last one. Turn. Now let's repeat row number two. Slip the first stitch, pick up the bar, and draw this bar. And pearl all other stitches till the end. And pearl the last one. Turn. Let's repeat row number three. Slip the first stitch. Pick up the bar. So for me, it's easier to pick up and place it on the left hand needle. Now pull the bar and pull all other stitches till the end. And pearl the last stitch. Turn and let's repeat row number four. Slip, make one right, pick up the bar and knit it through the front loop. Then knit all other stitches till the end. And pearl the last stitch. So I hope it's clear like this. You go on making increases at the beginning. So you see two knit, two pearl rows, two to knit to pearl, to knit to pearl. So let's go on knitting, making increases until this side reaches. 44, 45, 46 centimeters. I will show you now the calculations. So here I am, that's what I have. Let's fold it and wait, too big. Let's measure it. the length of this side is 45 46 centimeters so now i want to show you how to calculate how many centimeters you need to knit you remember that we started from four stitches and then we were doing increases and that's what we have now the triangle after that we will make decreases and the length of this side now is 46 centimeters after that from this point we will start making decreases until we reach four stitches again for the head circumference 55 centimeters to make the head fit better i subtract 15 percent and i get number 46 everything of course depends on the yarn and how stretchy it is you can even subtract 18 percent as you may see calculations are really easy even beginner can do it and now we are on the right side now we are going to start making decreases and we will we will make these decreases until we have four stitches as we had at the beginning. So slip the first stitch. Now knit two together because it's the first row where we knit all stitches. 
and need all other stitches till the end. At the end, throw the last stitch and turn. Now row number two. Slip the first stitch and in this row we will throw all stitches and then we make row two together. And throw all other stitches. Finish this row. The next row will be the same as row number 3. Again, all throw stitches. So slip the first stitch and make throw two together and throw all other stitches. Sorry, on this side. Yeah. Slip the first stitch and throw two together and throw all other stitches. After that, the next round. The next row will be the same as row number 4, so you slip the first stitch and knit 2 together. And like this go on making decreases until you have 4 stitches on your needles. Here I am guys, and that's what I have. A square, big square. One side and four stitches here. So let's bind off last four stitches. Slip the first stitch. Knit one and slip the first stitch over the second one. Again, knit one and slip over, and the last stitch purl and slip over. Now cut the yarn and leave a long tail, the tail about 50 or 60 centimeters. Now fold the hat in half so that the beginning tail is on the right at the bottom in this way. So you decide where your right side and your wrong side will be. Here is my wrong side, so the wrong side out because I was weaving in ends already here. We are going to seam the brim on the wrong side, but the main part of the hat on the right side, and you will see why. So now fold the hat wrong side out. Thread the needle. And let's start. So let's join into the corner here. We are going to insert the needle underneath. Let's join here one more time. Underneath the bars that are between two selvage stitches. So just one one more.
and now you see two silver stitches and between you can find two bars here that's how you're going to insert the needle here and also here on one side and the same on the other side here so let's do it Insert the needle from right to left here and on the other side underneath both bars and again from right to left here and on the other side Find two sewing stitches and in between. And on the other side. That's how the seam is looking now. And let's go on. How to understand how many centimeters you need to, to leave for the brim and for the main part? Usually it's a little bit less than a half. Uh, for my size, I'm going to join for the brim 20 two centimeters and all other side will be for the main head part so like this please go on pay attention and do not lose stitches so for 22 centimeters go on so in the edge and I, I will see you after and will show you what we will do with the main with the main part here I am and here is the seam now we turn the head right side right side out and you may see the seam of the brim but it will be invisible because we will fold it and you go on doing the same what you did but on the right side underneath both bars on one side and on another side between two salvage stitches On one side and on another side. So I hope it's clear, please go on. So that's what we have now. And the only one thing we need to do is to close the crown. And for this, wait one more stitch here. And also, here 
to close the crown. You will need to pick up front loops in this way. One, two, three, four, five. So front loops. around so insert the needle through the front loops really easy please go on gathering the crown so that's what we have now. Pull tight to close the crown. And I know lots of stitches and please be careful not to break the yarn. I will do my best to close it but I feel that I can break the yarn. So what you can do is just to sew both, both edges, like insert the needle underneath the stitches that you are gathering. And close the crown. And from this side, so let's check it. Not bad. You can shape it as you want. At the, at the end, make a knot and weave in ends. Here is the crown. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I like this video, the written instruction you can find on my blog, please check it, the link will be down. Also leave comments if you have any questions and if you want to support me there is a thanks button underneath. Bye for now!